me and Alonzo were just had rehearsals where we said, okay, what would this look like? You know, what would this look like? What would this look like? And so we came up with a couple of different options that seemed um, not too intense so that it wouldn't freak out the audience too badly so that you could enjoy the film and not uh, feel sorry for him or something too much because that's, you know, you really are in making a movie in some ways you really are manipulating an audience to feel a certain thing and so there's a lot of lines that if you cross over too hard you're gonna make them feel a different thing than you want so we just really had to skate that line really well and balance it out I hope and um, where we came up with the idea for Luke is just sort of you know we both said well, what has he grown up into he grew up with his grandma and grandpa and so he wears his grandpa's clothes and his, some of like, you know, one of the things I wear is actually a blouse. You wouldn't know it, but the buttons are the wrong way. And so like he, he's probably never shopped for himself. His grandma and grandpa weren't stylish at all. In fact, they were pretty strict. And so growing up in that environment actually had to have some, you know, impact on how he acts. And so I think in a lot of ways he is a grandma. He's like a little bit, he feels like he's a little bit judgmental, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> just kind of, you know, that's not very polite and um, don't do this and that's not the way things are done and don't sit in that chair because that's not your chair. And, and so I think that all that is sort of incorporated into parts of autism where they don't, people with autism don't like change very much at all and they are very rule-based and strict and so that kind of fit what I had to do so in a lot of ways I'm kind of playing Maggie, Grandma Maggie by playing Luke. <laughs>